Mathematicians are obsessed with finding patterns in chaos. And there's one pattern so elusive it's worth a million dollars to understand it. It's called the Birch and Swinerton Dyer conjecture. And it's all about predicting how many solutions a problem has infinitely many miles away. Imagine a beach ball with one point marked on it. How many other points on that ball are special? It's hard to say. The ball is smooth and symmetric. Now imagine a weird lumpy potato. This potato has lots of bumps and grooves. It has more special points you can mark. The size and shape of the object directly relate to the number of special points it can have. In math, we study special equations called elliptic curves. The special points on them are called rational points, solutions with whole numbers or fractions. Some curves, like the beach ball, have very few. Others, like the potato, have infinitely many. So how can we tell if a given curve is a beach ball or a potato without finding every single point, which is impossible? The breathtaking guess by Birch and Swinerton Dyer is this. There's a secret fingerprint for each curve called its L function. The deeper this function's graph hits zero at a specific point, the more complex the potato, meaning the more rational solutions the equation has. The conjecture creates a perfect bridge between two completely different worlds, algebra. Counting solutions, the rank, a number measuring how infinite the set of solutions is. Analysis, the L function, the order of vanishing, a number measuring how deeply that function graph plunges through zero. Proving this bridge exists would revolutionize number theory. It's like knowing you can predict the entire ocean's ecosystem just by analyzing a single drop of water. This isn't just abstract poetry. The math of elliptic curves is the backbone of modern cryptography, protecting your online banking and texts. Understanding them at this deep level could break or create unhackable codes for the future. So, the next time you see a smooth, simple shape and a weird, lumpy one, remember, mathematicians are betting a million dollars that the difference between them can be measured by a single, profound equation. What million dollar problem should we tackle next? The Navier-Stokes equations for fluid motion? Or P versus NP for computer science? Let me know in the comments. Math isn't magic, it's everywhere.